Let us discuss another application of biotechnology in the field of medicine. That is to obtain monoclonal antibodies. Antibodies are produced against antigen. Whenever an antigen enters our body, our immune system or our body produces antibodies against that. Now, when do we need to take antibodies straight away? Normal condition is antigen enters, it triggers or stimulates our immune system and our immune system produces antibodies. It requires a little time for these antibodies to be synthesized. But in certain situations, we cannot wait for our body to synthesize antibodies and we need ready-made antibodies. Let us take an example to understand this. Snake's venom, when enters our blood, it is an antigen, it's a protein, it is an antigen. It will produce antibodies, but for the production of antibodies, time is required. And before the antibodies are produced, this venom has already started its action. These venoms are either neurotoxins, that is they damage central nervous system, or they are hemolytic poisons. That means they would result in rupturing of our RBCs. So in this situation, we cannot wait our body to synthesize antibodies. That means we rely on ready-made antibodies. In orthodox method, this venom is injected into the body of animals like horses. Same thing what happens or what would happen in our body happens in the body of the horse also. The toxin starts damaging the CNS or blood, but simultaneously horse or the animal's body is also producing antibodies. We isolate that blood from animal's body, separate all other components and isolate serum. This serum has antibodies and horse has produced the antibodies against snake's venom. So whenever there is a snake bite, we take an antivenom. So antivenom is nothing but antibodies which are prepared by some other animal because we cannot afford to give that much time so that our body synthesizes the antibodies. Now if we take this antiserum which is produced by some other animal, this antibody against venom is a good thing, it will protect us. But if the animal has some other antigen or some other infection because of the antigen, then its serum must be having that antibody also. And if that antibody acts as an antigen for us, our body would start showing reactions to it. So we want only one type of antibodies and that is obtained using this technique of monoclonal antibodies. We have taken or scientists have taken myeloma cells. Myeloma cells are the cells which are obtained from tumors or these are cancerous cells. Myeloma cells, we will use properties, two properties of this cell. Myeloma cells, they divide very fast. Cancerous cells, cancer is an uncontrolled division of cells. So when we take this tumor cell or cancer tumor cell, that is myeloma cell, it is going to divide in an uncontrolled manner. And two, it can divide outside our body also. So we will use two properties of this cell. And we will fuse this myeloma cell with a lymphocyte. This lymphocyte has been triggered with a particular antigen. This antigen stimulated antibody, uh, sorry, antigen stimulated lymphocyte will produce only one type of antibody. The product which we obtain by fusion of these cells is known as hybridoma. This cell has the properties of myeloma cell as well as lymphocytes. The properties of myeloma cell are that it is going to divide in an uncontrolled manner and outside our body and lymphocytes property is to produce a specific type of antigen. This cell when divides it will produce 
many cells and these cells are exact copy of this cell because the division which is taking place here is mitotic division. That means we can call these cells as clones. And as these clones have been obtained from only one cell, we call them monoclones. And all these cells will produce antibodies. Which antibodies will be produced? Only that antibody which is in response to this particular antigen. So there is no scope of any other particle or antibody coming into our body. So it is a purified form of antibody. And as these antibodies are produced by these monoclones, we call it monoclonal antibodies. So if we take these, there is no risk of any kind of reaction. So this is the process. This complete process is also known as hybridoma technology or hybridoma technique and this cell is the hybridoma. When scientists performed this experiment, the myeloma cell which was taken was from bone marrow tumor. So it was a cancerous cell which was taken, myeloma, fused with the lymphocyte, hybridoma was obtained, it was allowed to divide and the, those cells produced these antibodies. So this is another important application in the field of medicine that is to obtain monoclonal antibodies and there is no risk of any kind of side reaction or allergic reaction.